Hollywood superstar Kate Blanchett made a surprise appearance at Glastonbury on Friday night to perform with U.S. pop rock duo Sparks. The 54-year-old two-time Oscar-winning actress appeared in the music video for the band's recent single The Girl Is Crying In Her Latte. Sparks are a pop-slash-rock band from Los Angeles formed by brothers Ron and Russell Mayel, who perform keyboard and lead vocals respectively, were playing on the park stage on Friday. And speaking to the crowds ahead of their performance, Russell shared his delight at being able to welcome Lord of the Rings icon Kate to join them. He gushed, hopefully as many of you know we have a brand new album, it just came out a couple of weeks ago. We have a super special treat tonight. We did a video for this song recently and we had the great honor of having the great actor Kate Blanchett join us, where are you Kate Blanchett? Kate herself then emerged onto the stage to dance along as the lads performed, sending the crowd into a frenzy. Ron and Russell have previously explained how they came to befriend Kate, who they bonded with during the 2023 awards season as she promoted her music-themed film, Tar. The brothers said, we met Kate Blanchett in Paris at the Caesar Awards last year, little knowing that a year later one of the great actors of our time, and a splendid person, would graciously consent to lending her booty-shaking skills to the first video from our new album. Kate is not the only surprise performer to take to the stage at Glastonbury this weekend as a string of other high-profile attendees appeared at Worthy Farm. On Friday night, the Foo Fighters took to the Pyramid stage in a surprise performance. The group appeared in a slot that had been held for a seemingly fictional band called the Churn Ups, with fans going wild when the rockers appeared in the time slot. Frontman Dave Grohl had previously hinted that his band would perform in the slot when he shared a handwritten note on social media earlier this month. He used the phrase churning up which led some fans to speculate that he was hinting his band were the real performers behind the mysterious churn-ups band that had secured a spot on the lineup. And fans were rewarded when they turned up to watch the fictional group perform on Friday only for the Foo Fighters to appear in their place instead. On Twitter, one fan noted, the Foo Fighters are, playing the same stage, night, and spot, pyramid, free, second from headliner, as their Glastonbury debut 25 years earlier. Irish chart topper Hosier also surprised fans on Friday when he took to the Woodsies stage unannounced, saying, I couldn't tell you what a joy it is to be back at Glastonbury. I feel, more, at home every time I come here. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.